What is this in my hand? It's a brick. Now you can use this brick to build, to build a new mansion, a new building, a cathedral, or you can use this brick to break down. And you get different types of bricks. This is a semi-face brick. So after you've built your house with this, you don't need to plaster it. So the brick is more expensive initially, but you save the cost of plastering and painting your walls. You also get smaller bricks. This is called a paver. These bricks are used to pave paths. You can see there's a difference in these two bricks. Other types of bricks you get the stock bricks. You also get face bricks. You can use a brick to build or you can use a brick to break. Now sometimes it's necessary to break down an old building to make place for a new building. And whenever I hear the word brick, it reminds me of the song of Pink Floyd, Another Brick in the Wall, from their album The Wall. Now Pink Floyd's album The Wall was released in 1979, 30 November 1979. And more than 30 million of this album was sold worldwide. One of the greatest albums of all times. And this song, Another Brick in the Wall, was banned here in South Africa in the 1980s. And that was the time when I grew up. And there was a lot of violence in this, this country because people rebelled against apartheid. And the youth used that song as a rebellion song. Now, is it good for an entrepreneur to be a, a rebel? Well, I'm a bit of a rebel. I like my motorbox. I like to ride through the Karoo with my wife on the back of my bike with a group of friends. And we make a whole trip out of it. We plan our route. We stay over. We make a nice fire in the evenings. And we will discuss whatever happened on the road that day. And uh, it's nice. But to rebel is also part of the entrepreneurial process. So you as wannabe entrepreneur also needs a little bit of rebellion in you. Why? Most entrepreneurs and business owners would create more for themselves and their business if they allow themselves to rebel. According to the dictionary, rebellion is the action or process of resisting authority, control or convention. Being a rebel means believing and trusting in yourself so that you will not blindly follow the status quo or what others expect from you or project onto you as the right way to do or be. Being a rebel also allows you to question everything. You choose and ask why. Whose rules are you following? Are you creating something in your business that works for you? Or are you creating it to suit others? Being a rebel is a strength, not a weakness. Your ability to rebel, to lift out your difference, even if it means standing out from the crowd, is a superpower that will create your life, your business, your future, if you step into that power and use it to your advantage. Sometimes that which makes us appear to be a rebel can also be labeled by others as what is wrong about us. As a true rebel, however, you have the power to flip that around and take all that is considered as a wrongness in this world, access the strongness that, that actually is. That's right. 
Everything you think is wrong about you can actually be what is wrong about you. This statement will set you free once you are willing to look at it from a different perspective. If you stopped resisting and avoiding what you've judged as wrong about you, what strength and power would show up? Would you be willing to use the judgment that others put on you for being a rebel as a creative element? If so, start looking at what you decide your weaknesses or wrongness are and ask yourself, what can I create with this? The true power of rebellion comes from knowing that you don't have to fight anyone or anything. Instead, you can seek possibility by embracing strengths and self-trust to create something greater than most people are willing to have. Being rebellious in business and life doesn't require massive actions or dramatic gestures because a little rebellion because a little rebellion is done with the right tools and this can go a long way. There are four tips for breaking the creative mold and being a little rebellious in business with a maximum effect. Number one, you're not wrong. We all mess up at times. So it's important to reset your relationship with wrongness. If something doesn't work out as planned, don't sit around and wait for someone or something else to tell you that you're wrong. It's up to you to pull yourself out of any sense of wrongness or failure and cull from the experience whatever nuggets you can learn from. You can further help yourself by surrounding yourself with people who look up to you and will inspire you to be great rather than to focus on mistakes. Also choose to do things that bring you joy and ignite the creative and happy energies in your life. But it's up to you and totally within your power to acknowledge that nothing you do is ever wrong. Two, don't give up. Never give up, like Winston Churchill said. No one is completely immune to moments where a plan doesn't seem to work out. So we start to think, I'm pathetic. I can't do this. Often, these moments occur because money isn't showing up or we don't get a certain result we decided was necessary. But don't give up. Even if the money and the results are not flowing in right away. Take this as an opportunity to adjust and recommit. Affirm to yourself, I will do and be whatever is required. Then ask yourself, is this plan creating the future that I truly want? Is money actually in your way? And ask yourself, am I actually at the point where I need to choose a different path. Three, choose differently. What else is possible? This is one of the most powerful questions you can ask in a business and in your life, wannabe entrepreneur. Business is not about discovering the things that you can do for the next 40 years. It is also not about sticking with a plan if it's not creating what you desire. Choice is a daily exercise. So start each day and you by asking, what is possible today? Allow your business and daily life to actually become an adventure instead of letting each day look the same. Spice it up by asking, what adventure can I have with this? And that is why when we go on bike trips, it Every trip is an adventure. You don't know what's going to be beyond the next hill, over the next mountain, after the next town. You just enjoy the journey. Four, redefine your relationship with failure. Many business owners function from a fear 
of potential of loss or failure. Understandably, they don't want to lose their relationship, their house, their apartment, their reputation. But this desire often leads to a fear of making mistakes. As a result, you can spend all your energy and focus holding on to what you've created. And in the process, lose the ability to adapt and choose differently. People love to have control over things. I love controlling things. I need to feel in control. Their team, their market, their partners. But some of these things you cannot control. So it makes sense that they will try and have control over not making mistakes. But this is so stifling to creativity. It is better to redefine failure in business as just an unexpected possibility. See it simply as information and then ask yourself, what do I do with the information I just gained? Where do I go from here? It doesn't matter where you are coming from, what your situation is, how many mistakes you've made, or if your life looks as if there are no possibilities ahead of you. By adding a bit of rebellion and not believing in limits or naysaying, everything is possible once you make that choice. So rebellion is also part of the entrepreneurial process. You as wannabe entrepreneur needs to recognize your rebellion because that rebellion can be used either to build with bricks or to stun others with bricks. You as wannabe entrepreneur may ask yourself the question, are you allowed to be a rebel? Because rebellion normally is associated with going against authority, breaking down. But rebellion can be applied and used in your business, in your company, in the business world today. If I say the word rebellion, or if I ask you, can you think of one rebellious company in this world today? One that comes to my mind is Red Bull, the energy drink, where the rebellion nature of Red Bull actually earns them billions. Because Red Bull has also identified the rebellion streak in people. And they use that to make money. So maybe you as wannabe entrepreneur needs to identify your rebellion side. That piece of little <sighs> rebel in you. And maybe that you must use that in your business. Maybe rebellion can be beneficial in your business. Rebellion can also stir your creativity. Rebellion can make you think of other possibilities. How you can use it in your marketing, how you can use it in your product, and how you can maybe identify and profit from the rebellion in other people. So, want to be an entrepreneur, use the rebel in you. Use the rebellion in you, in your business life. And maybe you're still a youngster, a young person, and you know Red Bull. You've had a couple of Red Bulls. And your uh, mom has told you that Red Bull is not good for you. But because you're rebellion, you still drink it. So enjoy your rebellionness. Be a rebel. But use your, your, the rebel in you to build and not to break down.